Hi everyone! Tips for today. I'll show you some paintings I did last night. This is for the Veterans Art Foundation. Again, this is Deborah Lynn Art. Um, this was a, a poured painting originally. And then there's hands I did. I'd taken it from a reference photo. So I did some gesso last night. A couple layers of gesso. I'm letting it dry now. But I kind of wanted yellow in the background and some green in the background to represent some healing for um, some veterans. And also here's some uh, here is some tools I used for the gesso. Yeah, that's the one I used, but golden. This is a like a glazing. It mixes it well, makes it go on smooth. You guys may have heard of it. I like this. This is just a Walmart brand uh, matte medium. I mix a little bit of that in there. You don't mix much of it in there, just enough to you know get it get it flowing good get a good consistency and let's see so that was what I used on uh, you know the the picture for the Veterans Art Foundation on the 17th I had to drop it off 24th I think is the opening day Fun, right okay so let me put this down on too. I've been working on this for a, a long, for months, but sometimes that's the way it is. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But this is a reference photo as well from an old-timey person, but I guess it's turned out to be me. <laughs> I used to have red, uh, you know, strawberry rolling hair. This is like a, like a, uh, more of me. You know, I didn't never have red color like that, you know, unless I dyed it one time, but Anyway, and there's some uh, spirits that were there beforehand. Let me see if I can get it right. That I had painted some angels, spirits there. And then I just, yesterday I, I kind of uh, did the detail of it. I kind of used my intuition on where I put the paint, what colors I use. You see there's a little bit of red. Green is also healing for the heart. It represents angels, if you can see them right there. I guess it came out okay. See little legs. Yeah. There's another one too. Another angel. But this is like, there's two of them like this, this one. You know, maybe it's the soul of somebody and the soul is like leaving. And this soul is trying to kind of, kind of keep them grown, keep them on, you know, kind of clinging. So that's kind of what that is. Oh, can you guys see that? Sorry. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Yeah. Okay. And then I put, uh, some words on there. I'm just trying to play with words, but see how it goes. Um, love yourself first. Hmm? What do you think? I'm not entirely happy, but um, I may go over it with gold or probably some uh, some uh, glitter. Yeah. yeah. May put some green glitter too. Maybe gold and green glitter over there. But let me know what you think if we should do that. She is. Yeah. I forgot. I think I named her. Let's see. I put the name on the back. Oh, Marie Antoinette. Ha! I put Marie Antoinette on the back. That was a name in the beginning. So there you go. But I kept on getting other women's names too last night when I was painting it. You know, when my head came out. I don't know what it was. But it'll come to me. So anyway. And then also I worked on um, this little... This little square painting. You see all my stuff there. That's my bookshelves, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, there's another ghost, you know, spirit. Spirit there. There's a shark kind of fish. There's definitely a fish up here. And I did some more gesso in it. You know, the contrast between the black and the white. There's a horse. And I think that this is like the spirit of the horse going up to the, up to the angels, you know, when it passes. And it goes over to the other side. And there's somebody getting grounded by the horse. You know, just getting, you know, some grounding. If you think of a horse, sometimes it gives you strength and strength and um, some just some grounding, you know, grounding into the world. But this is what I use. This is a heavy body acrylic green gold. That's what uh, that is, I think. No, maybe not. Uh, the green gold was used over here. Yeah for some of these layers over here. And there's uh, green. Green was used in, in some of these as well. This is uh, Viridian 
viridian hue very good green color according to my uh yeah you can see that here see how it comes out good it comes out really good the screen uh from my uh my buddy pierre pierre Sylvain. so then great artist here locally um and here's the gold i use this is the only gold i use you know you got to play with the play with the mediums and see what you like best this is the one I liked best for my gold when I put it on. It's definitely the gold right there. Gold of the halo, the eye. You know, this this is the bomb. This is this is the bomb diggity. Good stuff. And sometimes I use this for, for getting up close. Because I don't have great sight, but I have glasses on. Oh my god. Too close. Too close, huh, guys? Too close of a close-up on a Monday. Okay, but here is the... Reference photo for the for the one for the um, Veterans Art Foundation. I'm not going to put Veterans Day in there. And this is a black and white of it, obviously, right? Can you see it, guys? Yeah, you can see it. So, uh, yeah, so we'll put some black, red, white, and blue, of course. Red, white, and blue will go on. Okay, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, red, white, and blue will go on here. I think it's going to be a good contrast. Um, let me know if not. You know, my thing is the hearts, right? Lots of hearts on my paintings. So, um, I don't know. Maybe some red glitter all in here. And somewhat, this is like um, a person back there. You can see it kind of in the poured painting. Wasn't intentional, just the way it fell. And you'll find that with a lot of poured paintings that, you know, things will come out in it that you didn't realize were there at the time. But then you look back at it after it dries or what have you, and then you see those. And let me pause it a minute. I'm going to show you something else that I did last night. Okay, back guys. Here's the the sheep's and, uh, the wolf in sheep's clothing, as you see. Not finished yet. I have another idea. But last night I used the extra green and put in uh, around the heart there. I um, hope you can see it. Yep. And guess what? Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a dog, right? A male dog, actually. You know, roughly a male dog. Yeah. So I might be babysitting a dog. Maybe that's just telling me, like, oh, it's going to come. Let me see. Can you see it? Oh, my gosh. I'm terrible with the camera. Let me step back. Step back. Yeah. And then I put that spray paint, that spray paint white for a heart with a going through it. Sometimes these hearts mean something lopsided, you know, because a wolf in sheep's clothing, if you're in a relationship with one of those or a narcissist, then it can be lopsided. And great. I think someone peed in my, in my studio here, the ugly side of my studio. Great. Anyway, I hope you didn't see that. But anyway, that's it for today. This is Deborah Lynn Art, and I hope you have a great Monday. Here's also something layered up. Two ghosts and a fish there, black and white. I don't know, I'm into the black and white all of a sudden. So we'll see how that comes out. But again, I hope you have a great day. Love y'all.